Sweden is taking a bold step into the future of military technology with its upcoming drone swarm test during the Arctic Strike 25 exercise, scheduled for March 2025. Announced by Sweden's Minister of Defense, Pal Johnson, this groundbreaking project is a collaboration between the Swedish Armed Forces and Defense Company Saab, aiming to push the boundaries of autonomous warfare. The concept of drone swarms has evolved rapidly, driven by lessons learned from the war in Ukraine. Drones have already proven their game-changing potential on the battlefield, used for surveillance, reconnaissance and even precision strikes. In fact, both Ukrainian and Russian forces have heavily relied on drones, with Ukraine even adapting commercial drones for tasks like intercepting enemy drones and attacking armored vehicles. Taking inspiration from this conflict, Sweden is now developing its own swarm technology. The Swedish system will use advanced software to coordinate up to 100 drones, capable of performing a wide variety of tasks autonomously. These tasks include reconnaissance, road monitoring, and target identification, as well as autonomous returns to base for recharging. The drones are designed to work together without direct human intervention, executing complex operations with impressive coordination. While primarily intended for intelligence missions, these drones could also be adapted for carrying payloads, including explosives, making them versatile for different military operations. Pal Johnson has emphasized that Sweden's drone swarm initiative is part of the country's broader strategy to modernize its defense capabilities. Rather than focusing on mass production, Sweden is prioritizing software development that can be applied to a range of drone platforms in the future, ensuring long-term sustainability and adaptability. The goal is to avoid costly investments in equipment that could quickly become obsolete. Sweden's defense spending is on the rise, with plans to increase its budget from 2.2% to 2.6% of GDP by 2028. Since joining NATO in 2024, Sweden has accelerated its military modernization efforts, driven by heightened security concerns in Europe and the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The funding for this drone swarm project remains undisclosed, but it underscores the country's commitment to strengthening its defense in line with its NATO membership. Sweden isn't alone in exploring drone swarm technology. The United States, through DARPA, has been testing autonomous drone swarms for years, with experiments involving up to 30 drones. Meanwhile, China has unveiled the Jiotian, a massive 10-ton mothership drone capable of deploying smaller swarms in mid-flight. These global initiatives highlight the growing recognition of drone swarms as a transformative technology in modern military strategy. Europe is also catching up, with companies like Airbus and Quantum Systems working on their own drone swarm projects, such as the Kidu 2 initiative, which uses AI to coordinate mixed swarms of drones, even in areas with electronic countermeasures. Despite the enormous potential, the integration of drone swarm technology into military operations is not without its challenges. However, the ongoing developments in Sweden, the United States, China, and Europe demonstrate that the strategic importance of these technologies is undeniable. As Sweden prepares to test its drone swarm technology in the Arctic Strike 25 exercise, all eyes will be on the performance of these autonomous drones. Will they reshape military tactics and pave the way for a new era of warfare? Only time will tell but one thing is certain. The future of combat is taking flight, and Sweden is leading the charge. Thank you.